Hey guys, how's it going? Ryan here, and today I just saw The Walking Dead, and this is just my spoiler alert. I'm going to say stuff about the episode, so if you haven't seen it, please stop this video and watch the episode. So basically, I'm just going to give you my thoughts of the outcomes that happened during the episode, so like I said, watch the episode if you don't know what's going on. So first things first, how hurt is Carol? As you seen in the episode, Carol got in front of some saviors, got got surround got basically she got caught by saviors. Um and what we learned from the scene is that the saviors know about Alexandria. So that's on their hit list right there. Um but I have to say Carol did a good job pretending to be a helpless person. Um she could bait the characters real easily so yeah and one cool thing about this is that the way she took majority of the saviors out with the hidden gun in her sleeve that was freaking that was pretty badass i really like that because i was expecting that um so yeah she took a majority of them out um but there's still some unanswered questions about this situation here first things first carol attacks one of the saviors that survived and we don't see what happened like at the moment we get a comeback to that scene where you see the savior that she attacked is on the ground shot but before everything happened you saw that he pulled the knife out and lunged at her we just don't know what happened so apparently from what i'm thinking I mean, even if you see the episode, you kind of notice that Carol's hurt. The thing is, we don't know how bad she's hurt. It could be serious, it could be not, but all we know is that she's still not going back to Alexandria. So, the question is, is Carol hurt really bad? Is she seriously injured? We don't know. So, basically, that's it with Carol's right there. Now, the other big question I have is, Morgan. So we learned that Rick and Morgan they got into another argument when they went out searching for Carol. They end up going to the barn and they find possibly a savior. I don't know for sure. Um, he could be a savior because he has the same weapon that the other ones have, the spear. So we don't know. But the end of that scene, we have Morgan talking to Rick. Tell, um, he's actually admitting what happened about the wolf that he had him. Um, he, he had him chained up and everything. And, like, basically, it's just going back to the way he thinks that it, it all comes around. People could be saved because the wolf was bad. The wolf took Deanna. The wolf saved Deanna from the zombie shit. And, um,. Deanna was still alive to save Carl. So that kind of puts Morgan's mindset a little bit in the positive direction. Um, but in the end, Morgan decides that he'll go look for Carol and Rick should go back. So that's what happens. Rick goes back. Morgan stays, look for Carol. And the thing is, are we going to see Morgan again? We might see him in the next episode, but is he going to see the group again? We don't know. So basically, that's it with Morgan's side of the deal right there. Uh, the other big question is Dale. Daryl. So Daryl goes out, tries to find Dwight and his people, which is a bad idea altogether. He should just wait. But going out alone, you know that Dwight has a lot of people on his side. So Daryl goes, and then that makes Glenn, Michonne, and... Rosita following him. Now, you all know it ends badly. So, um, so you have Rosita and Daryl going out. Like, Rosita ends up hanging with Daryl, going out to find Dwight and killing him, while Glenn and Michonne ends up going back because it's a bad idea. Sadly, Glenn and Michonne gets caught by Dwight, and it's really bad news for them. Um, basically, the end of this scene, you have freaking 
Daryl and Rosita finding out that Glenn and Michonne's captured, which is pretty okay. It seems like he's going to take them out, but sadly, Glenn keeps on maneuvering himself, saying, don't, um, don't attack, don't do nothing, get out of there. Sadly, it's already too late. Dwight and his men surrounds Rosita and them. And the ending, oh my god. The ending. At first when I saw it, it blew my mind. Because apparently there's more dialogue after that scene. But if you haven't seen the episode, please watch the episode. Because this is a big spoiler right here. You have Dwight having a gun at freaking Daryl's head. And the next thing you know, he pulls the trigger. And all you see is blood hitting the camera. And when I saw that scene, it blew my mind. I was like, oh my god. My reaction was crazy. Um, but during that whole me freaking out, I did not listen to the last um, last deal of dialogue. Apparently, when I went back to see that scene again, Apparently, after he shoots Daryl, he says, you'll survive. So, apparently, I don't think he's dead. He's not dead. Why would you say that and kill him? You know, that doesn't make sense. So, apparently, Daryl's still alive. It's just that the angle, because it looked like he got shot in the head. But if you go back and look closely, it seems like, oh, it, it's aimed at the head. But he actually just shoots him in the shoulder. So, Daryl's still alive. He's hurt, but still alive. And basically, that's it. That's all I can say. I mean, there's bad decisions throughout the whole episode. I really enjoyed the episode, but they made bad decisions. Poor choices. Daryl should have never gone out. He should have just waited until they got their group. Because you, you know, Dwight has his group, his people. Why would you go by yourself and try to kill him? And, like, Carol, it's 50-50. I mean, she might do better out there, What? but I'm not sure. Um, she is injured from what it looks like, and I don't know. But <sighs> next week is the season finale. It's 90 minutes long, if I recall. So an extra 30 minutes of the show, so that's good. And if you haven't seen that promo, stop now because I'm about to talk to that promo. I saw the promo, and I have to say that we finally going to see Negan, the real Negan. We only see glimpses of him. We see him in his leather jacket, and we see his bat. And we hear his voice, so that's pretty cool. But from what I've seen from the preview promo, um, apparently, I guess the whole group gets together. Freaking Rick, Harl, Abraham, Eugene, so I recall. Yeah, they're all in the, um, the RV. Apparently, they meet up with Negan's group, and... After that, I don't know what happens because you can see that it's times passing in the promo. You have day, then it gets night, and you don't know. But at the end of the trailer, you just see Negan with the bat. The barbed wire bat. So a lot of stuff's going to happen next week. Honestly, I don't know what's going to happen. So I'm looking forward to next week. Expect that um, video coming up. You might see a reaction to it too. Not just the thoughts type, but a reaction video also. But in the end, I'm looking forward to next week, and I hope you are too. And this is all I have for right now. Hope you like this. Subscribe, comment down below what you thought of today's episode. Um, do y'all think Daryl's dead? Even though I kind of told y'all that he's not. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, it's opinions right now. Uh, he's not dead. But yeah, so the question is, is Carol going to be dead? Because is she seriously injured? Don't know. What's going to happen to Morgan? Are they going to... What's going to happen to Alexandria? A lot of stuff. A lot of unanswered questions. But in the end, we'll find out next week. So I hope you all enjoy this. And I'll see you all next time. Later, people.